Good afternoon everybody, welcome to this non-scheduled stream, slightly scheduled non-scheduled stream, <laughs> but that's how I was going to do it today, And um, <clears throat> but it's not on my schedule, so there we go, anyway, that's good old farming simulator 22, getting back to basics, no GPS, hello, hello Smudo, how are you buddy, and how is everyone anyway? Did say good afternoon. I think I did say good afternoon, but I hope you're all doing well out there. Enjoying your day. I can tell you this much, it's a hot day here. Ah, oh, Ryder. Have you come to see how not to break your game? <laughs> Why don't you watch it crash now I've said that? Oh, change, come on, reverse. How are you guys? Yeah, well. I haven't had anything go wrong as of yet, but I emphasize the word as of yet. So I suppose I'd better give a little rundown of what I'm doing here. Um, this is going to be my private play. Uh, I decided to stream it. And um, I've decided to use old Erangrit because I've never got the DLC, the Alpine DLC and the other one. I, for me personally, I don't think it was worth the money. And uh, now I've got it for free. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a go because everyone else would be streaming the new maps. But uh, this way we get to see what this map looks like under the new graphic engine. I get to play it. And like I said, back to basics with no GPS, nothing to what I'm used to. Getting back to the way I used to play it years and years ago no I haven't found the cheese yet at all Smudo I don't know if there's little um, easter eggs on this one so what I did last night is um, I started off with a couple of contracts and um, I had, I've started on start from scratch, which is what I always start on. I started on the hardest level. But I think personally, uh, this one, and no, stop, stop changing, just go into reverse. I think um, 19 and this one, they've, it's not as hard on the hardest mode as it was in uh, 15, 17. But I, with my half a million euros, I bought myself the farm, obviously with no buildings or anything else like that, and I bought myself a field. I just looked for a field that I could afford and bought it. And it turns out there's sunflowers on it that are fully fertilised, grown at the moment. So, bonus there. So I'm just working some contracts, so I can build up some money. Either to buy a harvester or at least a harvester to get extra money from the sunflowers for a bit of luck. So, for those who are unaware, what I normally do when I play these games, um, well, I play them like this until season comes out, but now we don't have to wait for seasons, sort of. Hopefully, Realism Models will come out with their version of seasons. But um, I normally start off with about five maps, and I do a year in each map. And once I've done a year, I move to the next map, and then the next map, and I sort of specialise on each map uh, normally the first map I do I specialize on silage making and the second one tends to be sheep the third one tends to be cows the fourth one tends to be um, root crops or something else and then the fifth one is um, whatever I fancy do it all but obviously we only got the three maps at the moment and I've got one going on which will be a regular feature for a stream which is a multiplier which is on the American map, and the other one I'm using is the test map. I don't usually uh, play on the one that I'm using as a test map to test all the mods and everything else like that. So this one at the moment most likely to be silage, which is probably ideal because there's more grass fields than anything else. But I will be getting myself oh hang on no I was probably facing the right way wasn't I yeah I was there we go so we'll have to wait and see first of all off I've got to actually buy myself some buildings so I can sleep and some vehicles and then something to a bed for the vehicles 
and work my way from there, which is currently what I'm doing right now. I've got some added mods in. Stevie's already put out some mods. I got some of his in. I grabbed the um, Click Straw Missions uh, mod that's on the mod hub. I grabbed a couple of mods from third party sites. Just to try out. I was a bit dubious about them. And the reason for that is um, they were on the mod hub in 19. They came out rather quick. But I suspect that they wouldn't have been released by the original modders. Because if they were, the original modders would have given them to Giants. And Giants is already testing. There's a list of um, mods they're testing at the moment for this. And obviously, if you go into the mod hub, you can see that they've already tested some. Because we've got the, from Realism Moddings, we've got the Government Subsidy. We've got uh, the Click Straw Admissions. Yeah, I want that back too. That's that's the one I really want back is the um, easy development controls and hopefully, um, oh geez, I almost said his real name, uh, GTX uh, pumps it out for us. But um, knowing, knowing GTX, he'll be in there and checking out the code and checking all the new updates and that to make sure when he releases a mod, there's not going to be is any issues like the ones I found... Uh, so far now there was the old store deliveries mod on the mod hub which i used to use and there was uh, increased fuel consumption or usage which was from real um, realism and uh also a contract refresh mod out there which worked it'll refresh your contracts but what I found with those game type scripts, not not the ones with anything to do with vehicles or um, anything like that, but anything that sort of adds a bit of an extra gameplay on the scripting side of things. Um, when I exit out of the game into the main menu, it seems to shut the game down completely. And um, then I had a look in the log, and what it's doing is it's causing lure, there's lure issues having. And um, I went through all those ones to see if there was one in particular that was causing it. Um, so I deactivated one at a time and tried it out. And uh, I had it so. Uh, after a bit more testing and stuff, I found that it doesn't matter if you deactivate them, if they're in your mod folder, they'll still cause the issues. And it was. It, all three mods, gameplay and script mods I had that were causing that issue is I got rid of one out of my mods folder and did it again. It still happened. Got rid of the other one. Same thing happened again. Got the, rid of the last one and lo and behold, um, I can get back to the menu. They could have embedded that one. Uh, it said they haven't installed GPS. Yeah. Actually, I saw a sort of um, com uh, um, a conversation on that in the Giants forums earlier today. And um, the people are saying the same thing. Why isn't GPS on there, you know? Uh, the track just come out with GPS and everything else. Why haven't they done it? Uh, and someone did mention that uh, apparently it's on their th list of things to do, but they've got other things they want to do first. But, I mean, it does beg the question. It doesn't seem like it'd be a very difficult mod, to mo uh, well, addition to make. Um... I don't see why they couldn't add it in. Someone suggested us that most people use the AI worker so they don't bother. They know that so they're not going to bother doing it. But then again, I think most people would use the AI worker uh, less if we had GPS. Because it does make it a little easier. Yeah, you didn't see my stream yesterday with me, Smudo, and um, Patreo, and uh, DJ, and a, a surprise guest, actually, Mr. Fifgar turned up, which was a bit of a shock. Um, done similar the same thing. Uh, might as well mention it for people who weren't there, uh, just to let you know what we're doing. Um, uh, multiplayer streams, where well, you can check on my schedule, but they are on a Sunday, my Sunday. For some of you, I'm ahead of day. Some, some of you at the moment, for me, it's Wednesday. Some of you, it's all Tuesday. Um, 
and but uh, we'll do a multiplayer stream on farming sim on the Sunday and then we will alternate weeks between a Monday and Tuesday because of one of the uh, participants has an alternating work schedule sometimes he works on a Monday sometimes he works on a Tuesday so um, we do two two streams a week and currently we're doing a co uh, competition between the, us all we've all started with zero amount of cash and I've called it the uh, farming simulator monopoly and um, basically We've got to get all the fields owned, and at the end of it, the person with the most amount of fields wins. Terms and conditions apply, subject to change. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was a good start. So, we were all doing contracts yesterday. Um, one of the rules was supposed to be you're um, not allowed to take any loans, uh, but I forgot to mention that rule, and someone took a loan. So, that sort of ended that for a second. But then I thought, hang on a second. He bought a tractor and he bought an equipment and then he's, he's sort of s stuck himself to being able to do one certain contract and um yeah so <laughs> we're gonna see how that works out let me just rotate that funny enough that that wasn't working last night when i was playing on this with this plow it wouldn't rotate and then today all of a sudden what do you know Oh, it's all right, Smoot. I, I mean, I didn't mention it. Because uh, I did think about the, the loans. I knew, well, people put the loans in because uh, one of the incentives is being able to be, work hard to be able to be uh, to buy the farm that's already there in it as a bit of a bonus, as a kickstart. And if you get a loan, you can do that quicker. That was the only thing. Um, so trying to keep it at even Stevens on the most part, you know, not too much of an advantage. But then we had Mr. Frithgar going around picking up all the Easter eggs, sharing them out. And admittedly, I didn't help myself. Well, my little plan of uh, giving myself a boost sort of backfired, didn't it? And just to give people who weren't there a bit of information, what happened was... As I went off and had my to make my coffee as I normally do around the three o'clock mark, and um, I normally switch it over to Patreo, uh, his uh, feed that I get from him, and go on mute and go make my coffee in that. And when I came back, we were actually skipping a night. Uh, we had to do it on fast speed, which is another reason why I want the Easy Development Company tool, so we can go up to four thousand times speed instead of the one twenty. Um, so yeah, as I came back, they're all chatting away. I was listening to them, and then uh, I went into the contracts menu and picked out the most best paying contract, which happened to be seeding barley on a rather large field. So off we went. We all got our contracts. I went down and, and spent a bit of time seeding that field. It was a decent sized field. Came back to the shop, ready to hand it back, and clicked my. Uh, my earnings and uh, contract percent done was zero because what I'd done is instead of planting barley, I planted wheat. And unlike the other versions, well, especially in 19, if you try and plant the wrong crop in a contract, it'll inform you. It didn't inform me in this. So the other problem was is I had a, um, a cedar that wasn't a direct drill. So I couldn't just go over it again. So I've ended up, we ended up on the stream, me with my head in my hands, feeling rather sorry for myself, um, leasing out a, a direct drill cedar, a rather small one too, only a three metre one. So uh, that'll be the start of next stream, me taking forever to do in that big field. What crop rotations? What have I missed? It was tired of the crop rotations. Oh, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't do it. 
I actually had, um, I, I, I did a little bit of thrift play and um, got the hard worker to do the plow. And um, yeah, it wasn't very good. Uh, I put a screenshot of it in, in Riftcord with how bad it was doing the plowing, but um, yeah, that too was missing stuff. And I think it was accounting for the plow being turned, but it wasn't being rotated. So I jumped in and tried to rotate it and it didn't do it at all. But yeah, I've come back in today and um, working fine. So my plan is make money, basically, so I can buy stuff, buy things. Especially a farmhouse, which I have no clue how much a farmhouse is. I suppose I can look at the loan soon enough. Yeah, I was going to get the workers to do the ploughing, but I've ended up doing it because when he finished the job, Smudo, he cost me $2,000 in wages, and the job was worth 2500 Which I thought, okay. Um, maybe ploughing's not the best idea because obviously it takes a bit longer. If I get them to fertilise or something like that, which is a bit quicker, it might be worthwhile. And you get a bit more money for it as well. In that aspect of things. Yeah, I sort of get that feeling. He did struggle to find the field. He was on the field saying he can't find the field. Uh, I think that, the, like I said, I think it was missing money because the um, plough wouldn't rotate. And he was doing the lines accounting for the fact that the plough might be rotating. I mean, just a little bugs here and there, which is typical giants. And it's absolutely fine in my book. It's happened in every farm simulator, and they, they're generally, for the most part, being on really quick of fixing them. 19, they went a bit backward on that. But yeah. I was sort of hoping they would have a patch out already for the um, a couple of things, including the harvesting and contracts. I don't actually need that up there, do I? Let me line up right in the middle there. Drop the plow. And away we go. So, apart from that, guys, how are you enjoying the game? I mean, Ryder, you haven't had much chance to play it, poor old Ryder. Yeah, there's a lot of new things I want to try out in this game. I'm looking forward to getting to that state where I can try them out. <laughs> Until the next dilemma. Can we for Steam? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I saw a comment, I won't say who it is. If he's watching, you'll know who it is. If you've seen it, you know who it is. But someone someone was laughing about um, being able to get his copy early from Giants. Ha ha, for all those people who bought it on stream with another little comment, which I won't say. In the morning when it first came out. And of course, you poor fellas, especially with Ryder, for those who don't know, I was sort of laughing a little bit at his misfortune i'm not laughing because it was his misfortune i'm just laughing because it's just a typical rider reaction which is always 
Or it's good for a laugh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, people have got the Giants game. Well, the game downloaded from Giants, put it from them. Uh, obviously, if you've got the game, you'd know that um, the DLC pack was giving you a bit of grief and it was, and you couldn't play the game. So, uh, a lot of people had to that issue. I don't know if it ended up being fixed yet. I assume it hasn't because there hasn't been a patch, as far as I know. Yeah, I know. But, uh, yeah, so, and then I got my one from Steam. I had to wait. They got it at, um, I think it was early morning. I think it was about, well, actually, I think it came out about 1 o'clock or midday my time um, on the 22nd for the Giants. Um, yeah, so it would have been midday my time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I had to wait until nine o'clock my time at night, so another nine hours before it was released on stream, Steam, not stream, Steam. So I downloaded it, waited for an issue, and um, lo and behold, it worked fine. And I think the difference is, is uh, um, you guys, well, Roddy, you'd be able to clarify this, is that you downloaded the game and then you had to download the DLC afterwards or something. Where in Steam, when you download it, it downloads all at once automatically downloads and installs it so and yeah you've been having trouble with contracts as well haven't you but uh, I haven't had much problems like I said the only problem I really really had which is not a huge problem is the um the mods, the old gameplay mods. Uh, when I go go exit into the main menu out of the game, it shuts the game down. Yeah, and the harvesting thing. Yeah, now that mm, no, I spent yesterday, as you know, Smito, praising the game. Um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a huge leap forward from one game to the next that they've ever done. And, um, yeah, there's been a little issues and stuff, but nothing major. Everything's working okay. But th that's one of those things that uh, it's the same issue that I had with 19 that got me a little upset. But this time round, I think it was m a lot more with 19 because there was a lot more issues there was just a plethora of problems with 19 that shouldn't have happened. Um, like I always said, I've always expected a little bit of bugs out of the farming sim games when they come out because they always had them. I've accepted that and I've always been impressed with how quick Giants have got onto them. But 19, there was a whole lot of bugs and unnecessary bugs and things that were just ridiculous. It definitely was released early. And we, I think they've proven um exactly the reason why that happened and whose fault that really was and it was not really giants it's because giants was under a contract with someone else who they now have gotten rid of uh but um one of the things was you know having bugs that turned up that had been in previous versions and i'm i'm never kind to the game developers that fixes bugs in a previous version and then they come back into another game well as far as i'm concerned once they fix they fix and that's sort of the same as um the harvest with the fertilizing and the contracts unless if you do a harvesting contracts if you don't know and this is the same that happened with precision farming came out uh, the dc came out in 19. if the field wasn't fully fertilized you wouldn't be able to finish a harvesting contract. You didn't have enough crop, and it's propped, back, propped up back in this as well. Well, H82, welcome to the stream. Yeah, you had to X him out. Yeah, up the, yeah, yeah, you would do. See, what I'm doing is um, I'm checking the harvesting contracts that are available and then go and check and see what the, the fertilised state on that field is. So, but it's it's still as far as I'm concerned. As much as I'll, I, I'm actually enjoying uh, this game, 
um, impressed with what they've done. Uh, that's still an unforgivable mistake, I think. It's something that they've if addressed before. It should never come back. Yeah, yeah, no, well, yeah, that was handy. Um, two rider, yeah. Because we had that a bit, because we, when we're doing the previous stream, when we're doing 19, for those who don't know, we were doing a um, sort of a challenge to build a, a really, really big contracting business. Uh, a huge fleet and uh, the plan was to be able to do a whole year in seasons they had nine day seasons uh, and have course play and auto drive do all the work which basically they were representing our workers that were employed so you know something could, like be typical management come and tell you what to do and then go play golf all day and pretend that we we're in a meeting and um, we didn't get to it unfortunately because a lot of things happened <laughs> But uh, one of the things that constantly came across was the, the fact that there was never enough crop sometimes or um, auto drive actually sometimes we would have it set to go deliver the crop and then we out of the game and come back in and auto drive would change the destination and stuff like that. So. And the easy development controls was great. I mean, the reason it was great is because you didn't have to go on the console and type in all the commands. They were just there. Because that's what Easy Development Controls is. It's all the, um, the console commands that are available in the game anyway, which you can go on the console and add your, you know, fill your tipper up with a certain amount of crop, fill your solo up with a certain amount of crop, repair your vehicle all that change days even go super strength on flight mode uh, you can even like change the go past the 120 times speed as well so with the gps thing you said earlier i if if it is something they want to do as i saw someone read they said that they want they've got it on their to-do list they need to hurry up about it it should come in the game standard and it should have come in the game standard for a long time now the tractors come with it they should add it yeah i did notice that rider too yeah i did notice a fully what what I would like on the contract side of things is that you don't pay for the seed. You know? Because A, if you're a contracting business and they rely on you to provide the seed you charge them as part of your cost for the seed they use you obviously charge them and they can get it cheaper than they can buy it themselves because there's a contract business you buy in bulk you buy in bulk you get cheaper a better discount <coughs> yeah so um you should be reimbursed for the seed or not you know the seeds part of the cost that you're going to get well yeah why not just just automatically have the seed in there i don't know i don't know how they would work it but yeah and even if, you, if you're just doing a contract as a solo person well getting someone in to help out the farmer will obviously have his own seed because he's helping you to do the job because he's too busy to do it he's got other things he needs to be done so but I mean, it's one of those things. I don't know how they're going to do that. It's you know, it's a, it's one of those things I'd like changed. Probably one of those things will never be changed. I'm probably reaching for the stars here. alongside the um, the businesses and that having their own tools and implements to take things off your your tip or your truck, like bales and stuff, instead of you having to buy something to do it. Because in real life, a business. You know, you, if you sell bales to a business, that's their business. They'll have the bale forks and the implement to take that off. You don't have to buy it and then pay a, a nightly cost for it and then repair it and fill it up with diesel all the time, you know? So it's another thing I don't know how they're implementing the game. But still...
Yeah, I haven't tried entering the house. I mean... Really doesn't have any effect on the gameplay, but saying that the two uh, maps that I had, well, especially the last map we were on, on our multiplayer one with the, um, oh, what was it called? I've forgotten the name of the map we are on, but that had an amazing house. You could walk in, you had a lounge, you had TV with Netflix on it, you had a bit of music playing, you went upstairs, you had a bedroom uh, with the TV on it, you had a big bathroom, uh, a dining room and all that, an amazing pool in the back that uh, lit up a blue at night. Not to Zika. No, 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 no. The very, very, very last map we are on, Mudo. The one that was giving you a bit of a grief, well, all of us a bit of a grief, but... Um, Fortunately, he kept updating it, and it turned out to be rather, rather good. That big four times map. The amazing house, garage, everything. It was fantastic. So, even though it, it's not part of farming, but it's, it's just nice to be able to go into a house, you know. Go to a bed and have a sleep. Yeah, well, you're only on it for a couple of times, though. So. But it was, yeah, it was the one that uh, the frame rate really, really dropped. You had really low frames on. Oh, okay, they've got, okay. I didn't realise that, so we don't need that mod, another mod down the tubes we don't need. A sleep anywhere, anytime mod that we had. Alrighty, Smudo, thanks for the update. I shall put it out on... I shall tweet it out. Spread the word. Um, yeah, no, I haven't had a chance to... to actually uh, use the sleep function as of yet there. So, uh, when the game came out... When I first got it, I just played around with it a little bit to have a look at the, the different stuff and everything else and a quick look at it because it was it was obviously late at night and for the most part I was setting my wheel up, which took up more time than anything, really. Trying to get the keys in that right again, uh, similar to what I had in um, 19. And then just played around with it. But then the next day, I only got a chance by playing it in the stream, the multiplayer stream. And of course we're doing a bit of a challenge on that one, so none of us own any houses at all. And on this one, this one being my um, solo play, well it's planning to be, I mean if it ends up being like a lot of people here and enjoying it and want me to do it again and again and again, it'd have to be a few people, then maybe I'd consider it, but then I'll just have to readjust my schedule and kick something else off my schedule and put this on it, but... Um, Yeah, I heard that too, Ryder. I heard that they you brought that back. But I'd rather that they we have the ability, if you're mainly using water, you're mainly using it for your animals. So generally a farmer will have the water go to the location where the animals are and he can turn a tap on. And then you pay rates. So, I mean, even if they had that function. I mean, if you want to pay for the water, fine. You pay for the water. I assume that's pretty much standard in most countries. You pay for the